But we won't call the people that's really going to check us. We want to call the people that's going to pat us up in our mess. That's why some of y'all folk won't call pastor. But you'll call the other folk in the church so you can have a pity party. Because if you call me, I'm going to tell you to stop all that darn crime. Get yourself up. I ain't going to pat you with that foolishness. Shut up and move. I don't care about you crying. Out. Especially if you a man, if you better get yourself up, dust yourself up, and move forward. That's what folks don't call me. They want to call other people. Text other people. That's why y'all quiet, man. Y'all mad. We don't matter. If it's just if it's you, just keep smiling. I know what? I'm not gonna pet you up in your foolishness. If you wrong, you wrong. Yes, you are. Want to call people so you can have this pity party, right. and you want to call your best friends, they can be like, oh, "I understand yes. too." And when I cry, we cry, we cry, you cry, and I cry together. Yeah. Foolishness! Yeah. I cry with you. Yeah. Shut your tears up and let's go do something different. Yeah. So we don't like them kind of talk. Yeah. Sister Riley, we want somebody going to understand. He don't understand me. He ain't got no compassion. No, I do got compassion. I'm telling you, if you stay right there, you're gonna die. For your long term soul. Now, I understand you feel bad right now, and I'm empathetic with you, but I ain't finna sympathize with your foolishness. So get up. Yes, it broke up with you. So what? Now we got to do something different. Now let's move. And what we gonna do from here? What's the next place? Right. Come on, come on. But you keep calling around the people, say something you want to, they don't understand, they ain't here from time to call somebody else. Just to be reminded of the word that was in Genesis. Yeah. So here we are in Chronicles going through all of these trials, and naturally he would be fearful. Yeah. Because when you're in the midst of trials, it's hard to remember the word that God spoke. Yeah. Right. It's hard to remember when you know Sabrina what God said. Yeah. And you keep going through and through and through and through, and you're like, okay, God. Are, are you sure you really said what you have you ever been anybody really been there? God, are you really sure this is what you said? Or maybe I was crazy. Maybe I maybe I was just maybe I misheard. <laughs> maybe I saw a D instead of a P. Maybe I heard. Maybe I read it wrong, Lord. So sometimes you gotta get to the place where you really rekindle the word. So now they proclaim the fast. Gotta have five more minutes. They proclaim the fast. And the Bible says, amen, after they proclaim the fast, amen, for the entire land, the Bible says, amen, that they begin to seek the Lord. They seek the Lord and cry to the Lord. And the Bible says, amen, that as you begin to pray and remind God of the things that he had done before in the past. Uh, uh, he said, how dare you allow this to happen to us now? Uh, now here in verse 10 are the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Israel invade, uh, come out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and did not destroy them. Here they are rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. Oh God, will you not judge them? Um, well, we don't have the power to come against them. Huh? No, do we know which way to go? Come on, somebody. Now, paraphrasing. We now verse 12. Huh? Verse 13, it says, Now all Judah with their little ones, their wives, their children, stood before the Lord. And the Spirit of the Lord came and gave them the word. And says, Listen, all you of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And you, King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, right. go down against them. Uh -huh. They will surely come up by the ascent of Zeal, and you will fight them at the end of the brook from the wilderness of Jerusalem. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, yes. and see the salvation of the Lord. Oh, yes. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow, Go around against them, for the Lord is with you. The Bible says that they begin to praise the Lord. There was up early in the morning. They supported the praisers. I'm paraphrasing. I got to end this. They begin to sing praises. And the Bible said the Lord said in verse 22, ambush with against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come to defeat Judah, and they were defeated. And not only were they defeated, as we keep on going, the Bible said in verse 25 that the people came to take away the spoil, and they found among them an abundance of valuables. 
my God, or the dead bodies and precious jewelry, which they shipped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days. And gathering the spoil because there was so much. Thank you, what are you saying? The word of the Lord is saying now, there was a high praise that has went through this house today. The Lord said, why? Because I am changing the situation that you're in. Oh, yes, some of y'all missed it. The reason that you could not, you better not just couldn't sit down and hide it at this praise out. Because Ellen Johnson, the Lord said there's a lot of things that are coming against us. One after one, name after name, right behind each other. When it's, you're about to lose your mind, when God said today, I sent the prophet to come and remind you of what he said. He promised you to be the head and not the tail. He promised you to be the lender and not the borrower. He promised you you was going to be healed. He promised you your marriage is going to be blessed. He promised you you was going to have abundance in your house. He promised you your children are going to act right. He promised you your family going to be saved. He promised you you're going to have blessed coming in. And be blessed going out. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. That the storehouse going to be blessed. He promised you abundance. He promised you missionary. That you won't have to struggle always. He promised you that this time uh, he was going to be happy. He promised you uh, that you ain't going to have to cry no more. Uh, he promised you uh, that what you sow in tears uh, you going to reap in joy. Uh, he promised you uh, he's the power you need uh, according uh, to his riches and glory. Uh, he promised you uh, that no weapon uh, going to get you uh, shall prosper. Uh, that every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. He promised you, oh God, he promised you that if I lift up my head, oh, you gave, and did you lift it up, the everlasting Lord, that the Promise me that ye go out to the valley of the shadow of death. Ah, 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 Promise me, uh, 